Coach, a lot of good defense when it mattered again. Uh, what did you like about your your defense down the stretch tonight? Uh, just a little bit of everything. I thought uh, individually uh, we did a good job on, on the ball. We rebounded the ball. I thought we had activity. Um, but, you know, I haven't seen the quarter stats, but uh, it seemed like when we did get stops, we came up, they didn't get any second chance. So uh, to hold a team like that to 21 in the fourth when they got Basically, they got a couple baskets there in the last 10 seconds. So um, there was a lot to like from uh, a lot of different people. Uh, DJ uh, made a lot of plays. He had, once Robert got his uh, fifth foul, he made some good plays. Thought Rodney did a nice job of uh, rebounding and getting uh, his hands on some balls. Uh, it was just, again, it's, it's when you play good defense, it's usually uh, team defense. And that's what it was. Joe Becker with me too. Terry, how you doing? Um, Good. Congratulations on your 500th win. Uh, Terry, what does that mean to you? Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty special. Um, <laughs> you know, after my first two years in Atlanta, I didn't think I'd get to a hundred. So uh, it was, I've been in the league a long time and I'm very fortunate, especially here in Portland the players that we've had and uh, what we've been able to do here in Portland for nine years. So it's uh, obviously it's pretty special. I do have a follow-up. Uh, I know coaching is not necessarily easy, but uh, how much do you enjoy it, Terry? Nights like this, I really enjoy, you know, it's a, it's a roller coaster. It's um, you know, it's losses are tough. Uh, losing streaks are tough, uh, but winning is, Winning is a lot of times it's a relief, but tonight it was, um, and the last couple games against New Orleans, we played very good basketball. It's reassuring to see that we're going in the right direction. And when you see that, uh, it's very enjoyable. Next question is coming from Jamie Hudson with NBC Sports Northwest. Coach, what was it like to see CJ get in a rhythm like he was in tonight? He looked like CJ. Uh, that was you know, he was, we kind of had him on a minutes restriction. Um, otherwise, who knows what he could have done, but he, he had a good rhythm. I don't anticipate a minutes restriction going forward, but uh, his threes, I don't know what he, seven for 13 from threes, um, which is what he was doing before he got hurt. So that was, it was good to see for him and for us. Next question is coming from Casey Holdall with trailblazers.com. Terry, what, what have you liked out of kind of your, I've noticed you, you've seemed like you're changing your closing group around a little bit from game to game. And so I'm curious kind of what you, what you've liked out of them just in a broad perspective. And also, uh, are you, did you say, do you get thrown in the pool or something? Uh, I got a little bit of a dousing. You'll probably see it online here pretty soon. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, so closing lineups, um, you know, I thought Rodney did a nice job. Dame got, Dame got hurt, and uh, I didn't want to leave CJ out there by himself. And I thought he came in and did a nice job, so I left him in. Uh, he was guarding Porzingis and still got some rebounds. Obviously, uh, Mello was able to uh, do what he does, having him and either DJ or him and Roku out there together uh, made it. I thought made a difference. Um, you know, having CJ out there at the end made was was big in the last three minutes. Uh, yeah, and even in the fourth quarter. But it's uh, – I like to have the versatility. You know, we talked about our, the depth of our roster at the beginning of the season. Getting C.J. back has made part of that depth come back, and so it gives me some options. You know, Kleber shooting threes, Porzingis shooting threes. We needed to have uh, – you know, it's tough for Ennis to do what he does defensively and still get out to the three-point shooter, so we went – with a smaller lineup so we could switch and that worked out well. Thanks, Terry. Congrats. Thank you. Another question from Jason Quick with The Athletic. Coach, you said uh, when you were at Atlanta, you didn't think that you would even get to 100 victories. Now that you're here at 500, what do you credit for why you've been able to survive so long and be so successful? Well, uh, obviously here, making the playoffs seven years in a row, uh, 
through two different kind of regimes with the, the LaMarcus, uh, the first three years, and then the reset and going to the conference finals. You know, it's uh, been, as a coach, you always know your success is based on your players. Yeah, I mean, it's a player's league and players determine your success or failure. And so I've been fortunate here in Portland, especially to have some really good players and good teammates uh, who believed in kind of doing things the right way and playing the right way. But as a coach, I'm, I imagine you're different than you were back when you were in Atlanta. Oh, for sure. <laughs> and, 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 what, and how have you evolved, I guess, is what I'm getting at. Well, you know, I've said this a few times, but, you know, my first two stops um, in Atlanta and Milwaukee, uh, I didn't have I didn't have a different experience. And I've said this before, uh, having being with George Carl for 10 years and learning under him uh, is still a big part of what I've done. And being in Dallas and winning a championship and being with Rick uh, allowed me to see a different way of doing things. And then once I got here. Um, just kind of uh, trying to figure things out my own way and being comfortable in, in coaching the way I want to coach and, you know, let the chips fall where they may.